Okay. Stupid V0. The belts suck to get them all going. You've experienced that. Good job. All right. So what do we do here, right? You're not getting anything. They're not coming in. You're getting frustrated. And it just sucks. Loosen these guys up all the way. And after you loosen up this, I mean, this thing's got to be in the back, right? Because you need your 150, which it's not really, but it's close enough. So then in the back, loosen these guys up all the way, push them in, right? You got to push them in to get them, or does it pull out? No, it's push in, both of them. And then take your fingers, find this first one here on both sides and pull them to you, right? So, so something like, like, you know, pull them both in. That gets all the slack in the middle, which is fine. Um, you want the tool head in the middle, so basically home, send this thing all the way back, then kill the motors, and then unscrew, obviously, right? So what are we doing? We're going to look at these nubs here, right? Wherever this nub is, like, you, you, you can screw these things in a little bit without it actually pulling, but um, just get the nubs lined up, like, in the middle. Maybe make a mark here or something with some tape and get the nubs in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do, like, half a nub so you're going to get the middle in it's going to, it's going to take you a while it's going to take you a while so get that in and so like the lines there so get that there right and then do the same thing over here and kind of work them in work them in a little bit a little bit right and then when you think you're good if you have that tension meter on uh, the pf makes tension meter uh just stick it here and measure that and keep going until you get it to like number two right and then once you get them set Right, lock it down, lock it down, take the tool head, spin it around, right, make sure you're not riding up on any, anything, right, like everything's centered, all right, and then do that, okay, and then check the tension again, because once, once we move this tool head, we've distributed the tension, so anything loose is going to show up, right, so you're going to have to do it again. So then unscrew the bolts, the whatever, the half turn, whatever, whatever, however you're judging equal on both sides. You know, I use the nubs and maybe the middle of the nub or something like that. Do the same thing. Check that your screws here um, that hold the front eyelers in are secured. They can sometimes work loose. Check that. Check that you, you know, all this, all these screws here. Check those. V0 is going to have, like, as you've seen, graphs all the way at the end by about 125, then it'll dip down, maybe a harsh dip down. Um, so just keep doing that and, and then run. I mean, that's, that's basically the best advice I have for this. Look for, make sure your bolts, all the bolts here are, are tight. Um, these are your motors, right? So they're going to check to make sure that your belt is centered on the motor pulley. So it needs to be centered on this, not hitting a flange on the motor pulley. It's harder to do on the V0. You might need to take the panels off to see it um, on both the motors. That's kind of the general advice. It's 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 a pain in the ass. Um, fully aware, which is why, you know, it's sitting here. It's not over, not over there or anything. So um, that's what I would do.